In this video, I'll show you how to move your website to another hosting or account while keeping the same domain. But just before we get started, keep in mind that if your website is built with WordPress, there's also the option to use the Website Ownership Transfer tool. Now for Cloud Enterprise and Cloud Professional plans, this feature is included for free. For other plans, however, it can be purchased through HPanel. But if that doesn't apply to you, let's move on to the manual steps. So the first thing you'll have to do is download your website's files. To do this, just go to HPanel, then to Websites, and click on Dashboard next to the website you want to move. Then search for File Manager on the left and click on it. Once you're in the File Manager, navigate to the Domains slash Domain TLD folder. After that, right-click on the Public HTML folder and archive it. Also, right-click on the Archive file and download it. Now, step two is to download the database. So in each panel, go to Websites, then Dashboard, and search for Backups on the left side, and then once you find it, just click on it. Now, select Restore and then Download and hit Database Backups to display the dropdown where you can choose your database. Once that's done, just select your website's database and the backup date as well. Then click on Download Database. Now the next step is removing the original website from your hosting plan. So in HPanel, go to Websites, then find the website you want to delete, click on the Options button and select Delete Website. And the final step is to add the website to your new hosting plan. So just log in to your hosting or account where you want to add the website. Then go to Websites, click on Add Website and select Empty Website. Then enter the domain name and click on Next. And that's it! You just moved your website to another hosting or account while keeping the same domain. And just one final thing you need to do is upload your website's backup. Now to do this, go to Websites, then Dashboard and File Manager. Then click Access Files on the specific website and then open your website's public HTML folder and click on Upload in the top right. After that, just select the file and upload the backup of your website's archive. And then just sit back and give it some time as this might take up to an hour. Once the upload is complete, right click on the file name and choose Extract. Then enter a folder name, for example, Backup, and click on Extract. Now move the files to the correct path that is directly on the public HTML folder. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped you out, and make sure to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos.